I am thankful for this opportunity to share my devotional uncontentment with the upward families. The theme Bible verse is Philippians 4, 11b. I've learned to be content no matter what happens to me. I've asked my wife to share in this devotion with me since I came home from the hospital two months ago. I am much weaker, and my voice is not as strong as it had been. During an upward soccer game three and a half years ago, when Bob had an AFib attack, causing him to black out, fall backwards, breaking his neck and back, he realized that he had no feeling from his chest down. In the moments that followed, he could have questioned why God was allowing this to happen to him. But instead, even though he doesn't remember what he said, a woman who was attending to him while he was laying there sent me an email stating that in a calm, patient voice, he prayed, Thank you, Jesus. You are my salvation. I love you, Lord. You are so good to me. I praise you. I'm ready to go home. God, I love you. She also stated that there were no what ifs, no tears, no panic, or even a help me Jesus. The word contentment means to be satisfied with what you are or have. This is a feeling that can only come through your attitude. You only have two possible choices to make, either to be reactive, which is to rebel, or to be proactive, which is to submit. Being content is a proactive choice and the only choice that should be made in every single situation. Contentment doesn't mean you're always happy during the bad times, but it means you are satisfied with life because God has everything in his control. First Timothy Six, six says I, you gain a lot when you live a godly life but you must be happy with whatever even with Bob's paralysis after he came home from seven months in hospitals and rehab, he has said many times that this is the happiest time of his life because God is using him to have many opportunities to share his faith with people he may never have met if he wasn't in this condition. And God is using his upward devotional videos to not only be seen by the Upward families, but to also be put on YouTube to be seen by many. This is how Bob is being used by God to put into practice what Matthew 6.33 says. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added unto you. Philippians 4.19 says, My God shall supply all your needs according to his 
glorious riches in Christ Jesus. Psalm 23 says, The Lord is my shepherd. He gives me everything I need. During preparation of Bob's last upward devotional on trust, Bob's nurse left and we had to trust God to provide for Bob's caregiving needs. Even though we haven't found a replacement yet, Bob is content because God has given me his strength and ability to care for Bob's needs three or four day shifts a week for the past seven months. And we are trusting God for whatever his will is in the future. As Romans 8.28 says, We know that all things work together for good to them who love God and are called according to his purpose. Another reason for contentment is every day is a gift from God. Psalm 118, 24 says, This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I thank the Lord every day for every breath I take. This past spring, we were praising God, thanking him that after three years of being on a ventilator, Bob was able to breathe on his own, except at night while he was sleeping. But serious life-threatening infections put him in the hospital for 11 days, and he needed once again to depend on the ventilator to breathe. He also developed many new issues, which continue to this day of him being very tired and weak. Some of these issues had at times caused him to think that his life here on earth would be ending. A few months earlier, when his oxygen level dropped all the way down to 25% one time and 35% a second time, and he passed out, he could have died then. But we are so thankful that God was not finished with Bob yet. I know that at any time, God can take me home to heaven to be with him forever. We should never think we're gonna live for any certain amount. But it's not to sc scare you, but to encourage you to have a personal relationship with Jesus by confessing your sins and asking Jesus to come and live within you to be your friend. Please, see your coach or Pastor Terry about this life changing decision. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, You, Lord, of true peace to those who depend on you and trust you if you really trust in the Lord with all your heart. 
that you will feel contentment and peace in all situations because you know God has everything in his control. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your love and peace and contentment. Bless all of us. We give you thanks in Jesus' name. Amen.